My camera is like way too heavy for me to hold. That's why I always have it on a tripod in like every clip ever. Um, hi, welcome back to my channel. I have a lot to say today. <laughs> it sounds so dramatic, but like so much has happened to me and I haven't really been talking about it just because it's still been happening, but everything's good now. We'll get into it later, we'll get into it later. Today, I just wanna show you guys what I eat in a day, obviously. Also, maybe like a little life update. I'll let you know what's been going on. Uh, and I have a lot of shopping to do today. I just finished doing yoga. I'm doing some yoga with Adrian because I feel like I stopped doing my yoga practice for spiritual reasons and only did it for physical reasons which i don't like i don't feel as connected with the practice whenever i do that and i don't feel like i progress as well when i do that so yoga with adrian has always been my go-to she is just she's too good and she's so positive and happy and fun and i love it and she just helps me stay connected like i just feel like i connect with her really well um, maybe because we're both Texans. So yeah, I've been watching her. I did the, I did one yesterday and I, I did one today, this morning. And my legs were shaking so bad. But I feel really good. I am about to do a little bit of reading and write in my journal and do all of that good stuff. I've got a water, I've got my juice, I'm all set. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm probably gonna finish doing all of that and then eat some breakfast. So I'll talk to you guys then. Okay, I did, um, I did like my journaling and stuff and I washed my face. I actually like very quickly cleaned my entire bathroom because it was so dirty and I just like couldn't, I couldn't even deal with it anymore. So I just went ahead and cleaned it, which was something on my to-do list for today. So I just like got it over with. Um, and it's like 10 o'clock. I'm ready to eat breakfast. Um, if you watch my videos, you know that I did intermittent fasting for like a while. I did it for a pretty long time, dang. Now that I'm actually thinking about it. Um, and it was where I would just eat from the window of like 12 to 8. And I really enjoyed it a lot. I really liked how it made me feel. But... My body has just been going through a lot of stress lately, so I decided to take a break from that because I've been getting like really hungry super early in the morning and I've been like working a lot super early in the morning and my only window to eat will be like around like 10 a.m. So it just wasn't really working anymore. Um, so I took a break, but I still like like the idea of it of like stopping eating at a certain time at night so that I don't eat super late and stuff like that. It's just kind of the morning part that wasn't working anymore. Um, so I'm making oatmeal by the way. <laughs> I just, I'm making it in the microwave because the, the one pot I have is dirty. I need to get another one just so I have two. Um, so I'm just gonna pop it in the microwave real quick. Well, that's going. Um, so the reason I have been stressed lately is just because I was having a lot of problems with my roommate. Uh, she, she's going through a lot. She's really going through it. Uh, whenever we moved in, we moved into this apartment in August. Uh, she was one of my really good friends. It's not like we were strangers. We were really good friends for like about three years. And we moved in here, things were going good. And then some stuff happened in her personal life and it just gave her a lot of, it kind of heightened a lot of her me mental health issues. Uh, there was lots of screaming, lots of arguing, lots of fights, um, lots of 
her not paying rent on time and we do have a joint lease so her not paying rent on time even if I pay my rent on time means that we're late we're both accountable for it if that makes sense um, money was a big issue for all of this like it kind of like definitely I feel like caused all these problems and we had ambulances at our house and police and paramedics and it was just a lot to handle and then finally after the second time she thought she was like okay again and we were fine and then one day I had my boyfriend over and we were just like hanging out and she got very upset that we were in my apartment and she tried to like kick us out and she was like screaming at us and stuff so we kitty stop stop it so we ended up leaving that was kind of like the start of everything from that point on she thought i was the devil and completely hated my guts for a while but again i just i i, I didn't do anything i was just in my house living my life doing my own thing and i guess it bothered her i'm, I'm still really not sure why it upset her so much i have a few theories but we won't get into that it was just she she just hated me and that was that uh for like a good month i was terrified to be in my own house just because i didn't know what was gonna happen from her um like i would get off work i would i was working so much just because of the fact that i didn't want to be in my own house I would get off work and be terrified to come home and if I didn't see her car in the driveway I would like feel so relieved that I didn't have to like deal with anything. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, pause. I'm just gonna put this mango in it. Um, this really ripe banana and some peanut butter and maybe some pecans. Well, no, just peanut butter. That went on for about a few weeks and then I had been in contact with my landlords because I was not okay. I was scared to be in my own house. I needed people to know what was happening. So I was trying to come up with like anything to get her out of here, to get me out of here. My dad was ready to pay off my lease and move me out in a day because things were getting very bad. Like nobody wanted me to stay in my own house because they were scared for what she would do, you know? Um, we were all talking, coming up with like plans, thinking about what we were gonna do, how we were gonna get her out of here, how we were gonna get me out of here. Cause technically we can't, we couldn't like force her to leave, you know? She hasn't done anything wrong. The only thing she's done wrong is not pay her rent but at the end of the day we are both accountable for that full rent payment so if she had to get kicked out i had to get kicked out too we had i came home from work and we had a eviction notice on our door for not paying rent on time um it basically said that we had until n midnight the next day to be out of our apartment and i had been in contact with my landlord and everything and I texted them and I was like hey this doesn't mean me too right like I can stay she has to go and they were like no you're both evicted if the rent doesn't get paid by tomorrow at noon or at 2 p.m. I think so obviously I start panicking I had already been crying every day for the past like two weeks and then this particular day I could not stop crying my eyes out like every five minutes like I was emotionally exhausted I was losing my house which you guys know how much I love this place this is like my safe place and it wasn't safe anymore like I was losing my house and I had no idea what I was gonna do like the next morning I had work from 11 to 4 and I basically, before work, I got up, I packed up all of my stuff, ready to be out by midnight. My dad was gonna call 
his work and rent out a van and come pick me up and take all of my stuff back home and I was gonna have to live with my dad and figure it out from there. So I packed everything up and then an hour before I was supposed to go into work, I get a call from my landlord and he was like, I just talked to her over the phone. I just talked to your roommate over the phone and she is gonna, she's going to be moving out in two weeks and moving back in with her parents. And <laughs> I finally cried so hard, but instead of it being complete terror and stress, it was happiness. I was just like so happy that everything was over. I got to stay in my house. I get to live here alone now. This is all mine. <laughs> I, I was so relieved. You have no idea. I instantly just called my dad and he had already, I called my dad and he had already knew what was happening. And he told me again, like to kind of like tell me, just like reiterate it all. And the second he said it, I just started crying. I was crying for like two minutes and he was just like talking and I was just like, ah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was so happy. But it doesn't stop there, let me tell you. I got home from work that day and obviously started unpacking all of my stuff because I didn't have to leave anymore. Um, I started, un I unpacked for like an hour and my boyfriend was gonna come over and he was gonna help me unpack a little bit and like hang up everything again and like get myself resituated. And then my roommate comes home and she started yelling at me instantly. I was like, I bet you're so happy you get to stay here and I have to leave. And I was just like, she had done this a lot. Um, she would talk to me and try to say things to upset me or anything that would like cause a problem or spark, cause a spark in me. Um, I always just ignored her. Um, so she started talking and I just kind of ignored her. And then she came over and she was talking to me about our bills and had, how my bills had to be switched from her name to my name since she was leaving. Um, so we had like, we tried to have a civil conversation about that. She got angry and um, started like getting mad at me uh, because obviously, I mean, I would be a little upset too if I had to leave this place. She was mad at me for that and then she went into her room, shut her door, I kept unpacking and then like half an hour later my boyfriend came over and we were just like hanging out in my room unpacking things and you guys know my room, it didn't have a door so I, I don't have a room essentially. So she comes out of her room at one point and we're like just standing there. And she was like, he can't be here. And I was like, yeah, he can. He can be here. He's my boyfriend. This is my apartment. He can be here. And then she started to get really defensive and very angry. And it was like, no, he can't be here. And eventually, basically, long story short, it ended up with her trying to drag him, like grab his arm and drag him out of our apartment. And then like, when he wasn't giving in to her and like trying, like he wasn't like fighting back or anything, but he was just like standing his ground, I guess. And when that didn't work, she tried to grab him by his shirt collar and drag him out. Um, she was just very angry. So I called the cops just because she's crazy and <laughs> I didn't know what to do other than that. And basically it ended up with her stopping what she was doing because when you get the police involved, obviously you're going to stop what you're doing um, and not take it any further because you don't want anything to happen to you, I guess. So they get here, we tell, I we go and like, we're outside basically and she's like on the patio and I was like in the little entryway of my house and we were telling these officers like our sides of the story and they were basically just like, I know it sucks and I know that you don't feel safe in your home, but you need to leave. And I was just like, what? How are you not going to do anything about this? I have told them, like, she's mentally unstable. She's being aggressive. How, are, how is there nothing you can do? And then it ended up with me and my boyfriend leaving, me crying the entire way home. And then him taking me to get tacos and chips and guac 
so that I could feel better. <laughs> and honestly, thank God for my boyfriend and thank God for my dad. I don't know what I would have done in this situation without them. They honestly, like, I just don't know what I would have done. They were really helpful through the entire thing and just like so supportive. And I just want to thank them for that. So that was kind of the end of all of the crazy. The next day she apologized to me and we had a really long civil talk, surprisingly. Um, she agreed to be civil for the remainder of the two weeks. Um, and she moved out a few days ago. And now this place is completely mine. Um, that being said, I am in fact extremely balling on a budget. So if you wanna buy my art, it's linked down below, please help, I'm broke. <laughs> That's basically why my apartment is empty, why I need to go shopping and buy more stuff for it just because I don't have, um, I have more space. I still have the same amount of stuff because not much of it was hers, but there's more space to fill and I don't have enough stuff to fill the space. Make sense? Like that whole extra room is now my bed is now my bedroom and then where my room was is the office. So there's just like a lot more space that needs things. I was actually really stressed out at first because there wasn't a lot of stuff, but I'm really trying to see it as a positive thing and not be stressed out about it. I've been in high stress mode for the past month and I'm finally coming out of it and it feels really good to be myself again because I've just been so sad and so stressed and I'm finally happy and my positive mindset is coming back and now I see this as I get to redecorate my apartment all over again, which is something that I enjoyed so much whenever I moved in here. It's a good thing and I'm very happy. And now I'm gonna eat this oatmeal and then go to the thrift store because I just talked for way too long and I got shit to do. I'll catch up with you guys whenever I'm at the store, I don't know. Okay, I'm in the parking lot of the first thrift store I'm going to. It's Goodwill. I don't know, there's like four I wanna go to today. And this is the first one just because I like to make, like I literally have like a route I go on to like make my rounds of the thrift stores. So this one's first on my route. And basically every store has like one or two things that they're like, it's like their specialty I guess in my opinion. So with this one I have like one or two things that I'm pretty sure I can get here. Let's see if I find them. Wish me luck. Thrift shop number two baby. <laughs> Okay, I'm back from the thrift stores. I went to all four. I didn't really get everything that I wanted to find, uh, but I did a get a bit, a bit, but I did get a good amount of things. But I want to show you them. But before I do that, I might go back out and go to a few other thrift stores that are like further away, just because there's still so much day left. So like, I don't have really anything else to do. This is all I really plan to do today. So. Why not, right? Um, but before I do anything else, I am so hungry and I need to eat something. But I have no idea, I have no idea what I want to eat. I have lots of stuff to make, like a salad. So I could definitely do that. I definitely want some tofu, that sounds really good. Yeah, I think I'm going to make a salad. My dad also grew some spinach in his garden and he gave it to me like last time I went to go see him so I'm gonna put that in my salad I'm like delusionally hungry that's been happening a lot lately so I'm gonna stuff my face and I'll show you whenever it's done because I'm too hungry to like even film myself cooking right now okay salad is made look how big it is it's literally the size of my head I know I'm not gonna finish this already so I'll probably just save some for later. I don't know, but she looks bomb. And it took me like 10 minutes because it was all just stuff that was like sitting in my fridge. I chopped up the lettuce and the spinach. I chopped them up really small because that's like the only way I like to eat them in salads. And then I baked my tofu. I have this leftover bean quinoa, like chili kind of thing. I don't know. 
and then I chopped up some tomatoes, zucchini, and a little bit of bell pepper, and then I threw on some tomatillo avocado salsa that I made, that's really good, and then I just, a fig just jumped on my desk, <laughs> and then I just drizzled on some sweet potato cheese sauce, but I didn't heat it up, so I don't know how that's going to go, but here's my salad, it's the size of my head. I'll let you guys know how much of this I get through. Wow, Z. I'm hungry though, so this is good. Someone remind me to get a bottle opener so the once in a blue moon that I drank a topo, I don't have to freaking use my good can opener to open it. Got it. It's gonna break one day. I ate all of that salad. I guess I was that hungry, but I am fueled. I have my freaking... Topo Chico, which it's so rare that I drink these because they do kind of like, like sparkling water just makes me bloated, but it tastes pretty good. And I decided since it's my day off and I'm already doing so much shopping, might as well just keep going. I'm going to go out of like the, to the town over and go to my favorite thrift stores there because why not? And I actually looked at my list of things that I wanted to make an effort to get today. That was an ambitious list. There were a lot of things on there. I bought a lot of stuff today and I got three things on my list. So I really don't think I'm gonna find too many things that are still left on here, but what else am I gonna do? I'll say it again. And then whenever I get back, I'll show you guys everything that I got. I'm excited because I got some good shit. Okay. This is the damage that was done today. Got a few bags of things. There's also a few other things that aren't here just because they're like bigger things. Um, and some of them aren't actually physically here yet, which we'll get to. I also think, sorry for this weird angle, but I think I'm going to film an actual like thrift haul with all this stuff because I ended up getting so much stuff. Um, I couldn't stop, I guess. I don't know. But I'm happy. And now I'm going to go do yoga because I feel like I have a lot of energy to burn even though I feel very low energy. I feel like I want to be active. So at the store, I did get, um, I'm home by the way, I don't know if I, oh I told. oh my god, I'm losing it. I'm like, I'm just really tired, it was a long day of shopping, I'm pooped, um, and I'm delusional. So I did yoga, went great, I feel better. Um, I also took a bunch of the stuff I got and like put it around the house where I wanted it. And I'm obsessed with most of it. Some of it I don't know its place yet. Its place yet. But we'll figure it out as we go. And I should be getting my coffee table soon, which is kind of just what I've been waiting for. Like it's really gonna just like pull everything to do everything together. I can't even talk. But I did get a few like clothing things at the store. I only got four. I got like two of the exact same pair of jeans, just in slightly different washes. I'm going to turn them into shorts because they fit my waist absolutely perfectly, but they're more like mom jean style, and I already have like a really good pair of mom jeans, and it's also summer, and I need jeans. I need shorts. Um, and then I also got this, which looks so funky. They're like capris, but like really loose, baggy capris. Um, they also fit my waist perfectly. 
So I'm going to try to turn these into shorts too. They might be too baggy, but I also think they won't be. Wish me luck. And then I just got this shirt in the men's section. It's like the prettiest green color, which I've decided that green is my favorite color now. Um, because plants. So I just need to cut the bottom of it because it's too long. So I'm going to cut some clothes and watch some Game of Thrones because it's all I can think about lately and I need to chill. And I'm actually like really, I'm like wearing a sweater, but I'm really hot and dying. So I'm going to eat a smoothie bowl. So that's probably what I'm going to have for dinner. I'm going to do that next. So. Dinner is served. I got very chocolatey banana ice cream with lots of granola, pecans, and pineapple. And I cannot wait any longer to eat this, so here I go. <laughs> Hi, Katie. All right, it's been a, lot, a while since we last chatted. Um, I ate that smoothie bowl. It was really good, obviously, and I drank a kombucha. I also streamed on Twitch for the first time in like a month, and it was so exciting. I got my first sub, my first Twitch sub, and it was Carly, obviously, because Carly's the freaking best. So I just want to say thanks to Carly. It made me so freaking happy. It really made my night. Um, if you want to go and follow the stream, I'll link it down below. I'm back on my streaming grind now that my space, my home feels safe again and I just feel like I can be myself here. Um, I'm just really happy. I feel like things are falling back into place and everything's just good, but it's almost 9 o'clock. I got work at 7 a.m. tomorrow, so I gotta get to sleep. I'm just gonna read a little bit before, before bed and then, yeah. And I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me ramble about one of the only crazy life experiences I've had. Um, usually things are pretty normal around here, but this was just a little much. So, yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.